Hi guys, welcome to another unboxing. Special thanks to our friends over at tokyotreats.com. So this time I've been sent an orange box with this cool design at the bottom. And also, they have all the social media which I'll be putting the links for in the description below. Now, Tokyo Treats is a Japanese candy subscription box. So let's see what I've been sent this month. Wow, there is so much in here. Oh my gosh. Hello kitty. There's a carrot. What are these? Cheesy potato flavor. Okay then. This looks good. Oh my gosh. Look at it, look at it. Everything looks so adorable. Okay, so there is literally so many treats here, but luckily I have my Tokyo Treats Guide and I'm gonna be starting off with the carrot chopped rice cakes, which look super cute. Okay, so let's open these up and try them. So they look like Rice Krispies and they taste like, they taste like sugar puffs. Okay, so now onto the Calbee barbecue flavored Sapporo potato snacks. Mmm, they smell nice. So this is what they look like. These are so good. Okay, so now onto the Lottie's Koala March, and these are the custard pudding flavor. Ooh. They've got little koalas on. They've got like a gooey bit on the inside, that is so nice. It looks like custard. Okay, so now onto the wasabi grilled seaweed, and to be honest, I like seaweed, but I'm not a big fan of wasabi. Let's open this up. Oh gosh. Oh. This is what they look like. Only one way to find out what they taste like. Okay, so I thought these would taste more like wasabi, but to be honest, they're really fishy. It's kind of like seaweed, which has just been taken out the sea, so I'll save them for later. Okay, so I've got these pot noodles here, which are called the Baby Star Benito Kelp Udon, and I'm gonna fill them up with hot water and come back to them later. So, let's put in the water. and leave them for about five minutes while I have a look at these, which are the Baby Star Yakas Yakisoba Baby Star Yakisoba Sauce ya something. <laughs> okay, so these are flavored dry noodles and the packaging is super cute. So let's try these. So here's a closer look. Hmm. I don't know what flavour they are, but they taste really nice actually. Okay, so my noodles are ready. Let's give them a mix around here. And I basically like any kind of noodles. I even had noodles for my breakfast today, so I think I like these. Hmm. To be honest, it tastes a bit fishy, but they're alright. Okay, so now I'm going to try the raw Ruman candies, and apparently Ruman is a popular soda in Japan, so these are Ruman flavoured candies. Hmm, they smell nice. They look like little sugar cubes actually, so let's try them. These are really weird because they, they melt in your mouth and give you like a really cool sort of effect. So now onto the pink Pepsi, which is called the Sakura Pepsi. And this looks absolutely awesome. Okay, let's open it up. Ooh. I'm so excited to try this. Mm. So 
like a really, really nice cherry flavor. So it's amazing. Now onto the Karamuchu Hot Chili Crisp. Let's try one. Mmm. Mm. They're not that hot, but they are very nice. I've also been sent this cute Hello Kitty and Doramon purse, which is absolutely adorable. Now for the Crunchy Panda Z. Z for the Zagu Zagu feeling. Oh, look at the packaging inside. That is cute. Pandas. Oh. These are absolutely adorable. So these have chocolate at the front and biscuit at the back. Now for the Meiji's Pucka Chocolate. And these are chocolate filled nuggets. Mm. They look like little fishies. I can even see a little octopus there. Okay, so I'm gonna try this now. And it is the Chocolate Monarcha. It's like a wafer kind of thing. So this is what it looks like. <laughs> so this is a chocolate filled wafer and I can't really explain what it reminds me of, but it tastes really nice. Okay, so now onto this chocolate and green tea flavored mochi. And all I need to do is add a bit of water. Ooh. Put a small amount of water onto the mochi. Separate the ingredients. Ooh. Dip the mochi into the chocolate and the green tea. And enjoy! Okay, so now for my final item, the Meiji's Plum Patty Chan. And I'm thinking that this is popping candy, but I'm not really sure. It smells alright. It looks like popping candy, but I'm not sure at the moment. It tastes like cherries, but it is really salty. So I hope you enjoyed my unboxing of the Tokyo Treats. My two favourite items were definitely the Pepsi and also these amazing Kalbi crisps. If you want to find out more about Tokyo Treats, all their links will be down in the description below and I'll see you later.